So now, what we will do is zoom into the small intestine and look into it. Let's see if there are some differences. Yes, there are some differences. Let me label it so that you can interact with these images more. Well, image A, image B. What do you see? I can see in image A, it's, it's kind of patchy. What I see, there are some bumps. What I see here in B, image B, is uh, folds, correct? Well, let's see. Yes, outgrowths or rather patches. And here what we see are folds. Good, very good. Now, now let's talk about what are these actually? What are these patches? See, the pear's patch. Named after John Conrad Pear. Okay, the pear's patches. Now, note it down, it's unique characteristics of the ileum. Unique characteristics of the ileum here in small intestine. Fine. Now, what are these actually? These are nothing but clusters of the lymphatic tissue. Now, if I'm talking about lymphatic tissue, any guesses what is uh, the function? Oh, okay. I gave you a hint here in the slide itself. Produce a type of white blood cells called the lymphocyte. Now tell me, what would be the function? Of course, it's a very important part of the immune response. Correct? Okay. So, important part of the immune system, it monitors the bacterial populations in the intestine. If, if there are, by chance, by chance, if there are some pathogenic bacteria which has entered, these will start acting. These will start the immune response over there. Correct? Yes, that's a function. Now, let's talk about the folds. It's known as the plicae circularis. The folds, known as plicae circularis, also called the valve of Kirkering. Folds, so what is the function? It increases the surface area, so surface area for absorption will increase in the small intestine. Correct, all of you? Clear? Look at the structure. See, see it properly. There's a difference in jejunum and in ileum. In jejunum, you see it's very prominent. It's quite prominent in jejunum and it's not that prominent in ileum. In ileum, what we studied here is yes, the patches, the pears patches are a lot. Pears patches are present here. Fine? The ileum. Well, got it? All of you got the point? Very good. You know, this word, okay, this word, plicae, this has been derived from the Latin, again, Latin and Greek, plica, okay? This means fold. This means fold. So, hence the name, and yes, of course, it's folded structures. So, yes, we took this Latin word, plica, and named it as plicae. Fine. These are the folds, plicae circularis. Now, see the in inside part of the intestine. Fine. Duodenal glands. So, okay. Don't bother much about that right now. We'll talk about it slowly and steadily. Well, what do we see here? Folds. Okay, fine. But I see some. Uh, some other projections here on the folds, on the walls rather, correct? What are they and why are they? Why are they present? What are they actually? Yes, let's study. See it properly. See it, see it. Wow, beautiful demonstration. Beautiful, I enjoy this a lot, correct? Yes, that's the best part of these sessions. Like we try to make it interesting for you as much as possible, live for you. It's live, like you feel it, you are actually seeing the inside part of your systems live here. Correct? Right? I know, honestly, in the books, it's very difficult for you to visualize. But because thanks, I think, thanks to the technology that we are able to show these things to you. And I personally am a fan of technology and these type of visualizations, right? It's so, so, so good for all of you. Fine. 
I'm happy that I'm able to provide you with these. Great. Once more, do you want to see it once more? Well, let me show it to you. Enjoy this. A lot of effort actually went to prepare this, so we should spend some good amount of time here. Do you see the folds? Yes. But you are seeing some projections also. That's important. That's something that you have to note it here. Okay. So what are these projections? What are these projections? Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about these projections. Now take a closer look. Tiny, uh, what I see is like finger-like. Do they seem finger? Like fingers? Correct. Finger-like? Correct. Yes or no? Finger-like projections? They are known as villi. Yes. They are the intestinal villi. But wait. Do they resemble something that we have already seen? Uh, the next hint would be, um, okay, in the uh, animal kingdom. They resemble something. A similar picture we have already seen there. Yes, remember that fish who actually hides into these structures? Yeah, sea anemone. Yes, very good. Finding Nemo. Correct. See in the movie. Okay. So let's get back. Well, will I? These are the finger-like projections present composed of layer mucosa. This mucosa layer is what we are going to study today towards the end of the session. Find the different layers of the elementary canal. See, why finger-like projections? Actually, it's it looks like the fingers. Got it? You know what's the function? Of course, it's increasing the surface area for absorption and that's one of the main functions of the small intestine, right? Absorption, much more absorption should happen. Absorption of the nutrients, the food that has been digested, the nutrients has to be absorbed. Well, see, this villi, they, these villi, they are covered by epithelium, okay? To be more specific, if you remember, columnar epithelial cells. Columnar epithelial cells, correct? Remember, column-like. Fine, very good. They have lacteal. It's nothing but the lymph capillary and blood capillaries also. Very important. They have the lymph capillary, known as the lacteal, and they also have the blood capillaries. Of course, these are the area where absorption will happen. Absorption into blood. So blood capillaries definitely will have to be present over here. Correct? Don't bother about all the other labels like crypts of Libicon. Don't worry right now. I'll talk about it. Okay. Very soon. Very soon. Got what is villi? What are villi basically? Correct? Surface area for absorption is increased due to these structures. It doesn't get over here. There are smaller microscopic projections. Microscopic projections called the microvilli. So, intestine, villi, here there are microscopic projections which are known as microvilli. Fine. If you zoom into a single villi, you will see tiny, very tiny hair-like projections and because of that, it gives a brush border appearance. Look here. It's a very well analogy that we can use to remember this. Brush border appearance. Fine. It gives a brush border appearance. Fine, got it? Well, note it. These are absent in pairs patches. Questions can be asked, so please note this down. They are absent in the pairs patches. Fine, very good. Let's move. So they increase the surface area of the absorptive surface area in the small intestine. You know about it now. Again, a nice demonstration for you. See, finger-like projections. Finger-like projections and there, there are small, 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 small hair-like projections, I would say. So, they are the microvilli. 